Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 17th, 18th, and 19th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We do have a full moon on the night of the 18th at around 11.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you can make an adjustment for your, you know, for your um, time zone. And, you know, full moons have a lot, a lot of energy. Okay, now, you know I'm going to be using cards. I am going to be using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my John Holland Psychic Tarot cards, uh, um, Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I'm also going to pull one from my, I just started using her again, uh, Colette Baron, the Good Tarot. Okay, there we go. The Good Tarot. How's that? Okay, so we will pull one. Now, for the introduction, I am going to be using my Archangel Power Tarot cards from Radley Valentine, and I will pull one of my Guardian Angel cards, okay? Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. Now, we do have that full moon. I told you it is the night of the 18th Eastern Standard Time. So, like I said, to make an adjustment, it is in Gemini. Gemini is the twins. So, sometimes the twins are very much in alignment with each other. Sometimes they have an imposing, you know, opposing views. Uh, Gemini is very intellectual. Gemini likes to have good communication. So, this is, again, full moon. Remember, new moon to full moon, as it's waning, no, waxing, as it's waxing, it is, you know, time for you to request. Full moon to new moon, as it's waning or getting smaller, it's the time for you to release. This is the time for you to release, relinquish, and request. Release the bonds, the, um, the chains that are holding you back. Um, relinquish what it is you don't really need anymore. Maybe what things that you've been holding on and then request because it's always good to ask for the good stuff. Okay, and if you don't ask, hey, answer's usually a no or could be a no. There is no answer, um, but if you do ask, it could still be a no, but you could get some yeses with it too. So let's see what we have. While I'm shuffling, remember, go down there to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. We are coming to Capricorn season. We are coming to, for the northern region, for the northern hemisphere, the winter solstice. For the southern, it would be the summer solstice. That is where day, you know, where light and dark, there is an unevenness there. So for the northern hemisphere, it is going to be the longest night and vice versa for the southern. Okay, let's see what we have here now. One, two, and three. Full moon energy. I do feel that this is going to be one of those weeks that's going to sweep us up. It's just going to kind of like sweep us up. Um, things could be happening very, very much around us. And one of those times where we don't necessarily feel that we have the control that we would like. So part of that is, you know, let your um, higher power take over. Here we go. First card is the star. So now we have the 17. Now we do have December 17th here too. So this could be one of those really good times for you to make your wishes. Again, it's that full moon on the night of the 18th or the morning of the 19th, depending on where you're at. So the star is Archangel Jophiel. We have a 17. Seven is divine umbrella, divine um, opportunities, also divine uh you know, divine, like sometimes it could be intervention or interference also. So one or a 10, one new beginning, 10 transition. This is a good time for you to put it out there. Make your wishes. Maybe you don't even know what your wishes are. Write them down. But this is one of those times that we need to be really putting out our thoughts, our words, our heart. We need to be putting that out into the universe, especially for this weekend. All right. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. I like that one. Next card is the three of Michael. Now, threes, unlimited. Um, you know, basically, there's a lot of power with threes. The power of three, you say something, do something three times. There's also celebration. There's also um, creativity. Michael is air energy. That is our Gemini. That's our Libra and Aquarius energy. 
you know, thought processes, um, making some plans, hearing some news. Now, the Three of Michael is also the Three of Swords, you know, that icky one that has the heart with the three swords in it. And people are like, you know, whenever they see it, can we like put that back and reshuffle? The Three of Michael to me has a letting go type of energy to it. And it has a lot of let go of what's holding you back. Let go of, and you know, I'm always talking about letting go fear. Fear is useless. Fear is, you know, well, I mean, I'm not telling you to be stupid, but I'm saying, you know, if unknown fears, you know, we don't know. We don't know. So it's kind of the, you know, the world keeps moving forward. We are going into that future. Let go of that fear. Live your life. Live your life. And so the Three of Michael has a lot of releasing energy. Okay. So release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. And again, reverse cards do have a lot of energy to them, a little bit more. Next card is Solution, Solution, Solution. So we have a 14. Again, 4 has stability, leadership. It also has organization. This is Archangel Zedkiel. Zedkiel, if I remember, Zedkiel is of the violet light, the violet light that purifies and cleans so many things. Now, I know that... We talk about, and I'm going down my bunny trail, Uriel, Uriel is of the light, um, but the violet light has a holiness to it also. So is that kill someone to really um, do a little bit more investigation on? You know, there's a lot of crown chakra with the, with the violet light, and Zed Kiel has a very divine um, connection. Okay, so... There is one thing here, this is about, you know, this talks about, you know, success, this talks about objective um, compromise, in fact, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. It's interesting because we do have, like Gemini, Gemini does see, the, you know, both sides of the story because the twins are kind of like, well, this, I could see this, but I can see that. Gemini is also... Um, you know, also is very intellectual, but this is Gemini full moon in Sagittarius. And this is where ego can get involved. Sagittarius ego, Sagittarius pulls that ego up because we want to have a little fun. Gemini also has that let's have a little fun. So there can be a little bit of a push-pull between Sagittarius and Gemini. And Solutions is telling us to, hey, you know, just kind of be aware of it, but put that aside for the moment and try to be objective at the same time. So, again, self-control and patience for giving and healing energy. So, 17, we have a 3, we have a 14. Um, you know, there, Joe Feel, I believe, does have a lot of, um, I believe Joe Feel covers a lot of the arts type of energy with that, too. So, take a look at that now. I mean, I love the 17. I love the wish card. You know, the, the 17 is make your wish, put it out there, put it into that universe. The three of Michael, hey, release what's holding you back. Release the past. And the um, solutions card, the 14, it kind of like get your head on straight. Get your head on straight. Things are going to work out much better than you think, but you, ha you, know, the, you have to, in some ways, put the emotion um, aside. Okay? So... Let's see what the guardian angels have to say for this weekend. A happy change. So now we have three major arcanas. This is the wheel. This is the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fate. This has a lot of destiny energy to it. Things are moving forward. This is the 10, so things are definitely moving forward. I do feel like you get, you know, like this, we have to see things with more reality. We have to get our head on straight. This is a happy change. Your angels have heard your prayers, I love that, and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward, and great progress will now be possible. You may need, some, need to make some rapid decisions, which is what I talked about before all of this, due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Wow. So... One, seven, three, one, four, one, zero. Interesting. Interesting numbers. There's a lot of one energy there, too. All right. Now, again, full moon. Um, I will try to post some things on my website and Facebook page, and then I try to bring that over to my YouTube community page also. <sighs> now, why don't we 
get started with our readings. Hello, my Aquariuses. How are you? Well, let's see what we've got going for you with this weekend. Because, yeah, this full moon is going to be big. It's going to be big. Let's see. At least all the, I mean, all of the readings so far have had so much energy. There has been some overlap on some of the um, the cards, and it's interesting because it's not all the, it's not like, so whatever would come in this one would come into the other card. So there's interesting stuff going on. Let's see what we have for my Aquariuses, because Jupiter is still making its move. It wants some really good stuff for you. It wants to make some changes for you. Okay, let's go on. First card is Three of Earth. Well, threes have a lot of power to it. We know that power of the words, power, you know, when you get together with two other people, a lot of strength in a three. Creativity, it's also celebration. Earth is our money energy. It is our can it's our Capricorn, which we're about to go into. It's our um, Taurus, it's our Virgo energy, solid job, money, career. There's you, you might be thinking of different ways on making money, different ways of getting um, getting some backing. I kind of feel like there's some creativity. Well, this will talk about, um, you know, some, well, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So there could be some bonuses coming, but also too, I feel like there is a way that you're looking to make more money. You're looking to get to get into a better financial status. Okay, it may be because you have a new project you want to launch and you're looking for some backing on that, or it could be that you want to move and you're looking for some, you know, you're looking for that down payment. It's just that there's going to be some creativity in how you come up with that money. And the thing about it is once you get come up to that cre that money, it's going to be like I can do that again. You know, that was that wasn't as hard as I thought. So whatever it is, what however you're creating, however you're making that money for what whatever the purpose is, maybe it's for Christmas gifts, maybe it's for just gifts in general, maybe you want to even take a trip. It's kind of like, you know, you figure out something and it's kind of, it's one of those things I could do that again. I don't just have to, I didn't have to just do it for this time. So the creativity is not only going to bring you the money for what you need, but it's also going to be it's also going to possibly give you an opportunity for the future. Okay? Next card, the 5 of fire. Now, fives have change energy, positive negative. Fire is our air as our Aries, our Leo, our Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius now. Passionate burning, very consuming. The only thing about this the only thing about this is that, you know, when you do create something, when you do figure something out, when you do, you know, start, um, kind, you know, it, it just becomes a little bit more than what you thought it was going to be. I feel like it's kind of like, even though this is a fire energy, I feel like things kind of snowball and it's, it's like, oh my gosh, how do I even manage this now? So whatever this creative idea is from you, for you, whatever this is that you're creating, it just makes, you know, it, it comes, it will come to a point that you possibly say, well, do I continue doing this or do I, you know, or do I do my job? You know, do I work my five to 10, you know, my five hours a day, my five days a week type of job? So there is a conflict possibly coming up with this, but you know what? It's something that you'll make your choices. I mean, I've known people who, um, who basically, it kind of makes me, it's it, an example. There is somebody that has a business and she was working her own job. And I told her that by the end of the year, she would, this was for last year, she would only be doing her business because her job, you know, it would it be, you'd have to make a choice between the two. I kind of get that same type of energy here, that si same type of concern. It's like your choices and you're going to have to make a decision. Which way do I go? Which way do I go with this? Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Not everybody will agree with you, too. Okay, that happens. Last card is the Five of Earth. So this basically goes back to what I'm talking about, because like I said, you know, I have a job, I have a business. I have a business, I have a job. Which one, you know, the, the job, I will know. I mean, I can see, you know, if I do my job well, I can see my future there. But then the risk is with this is, you know, if I don't do my job well, they can take my job away. Or if the job, you know, if they don't do their job well, they can take, you know, the job away. But then the, on the other hand, my business, you know, it 
it could be very consuming. So the Five of Earth has some kind of some strange energies regarding your money, your, you know, the efforts that you put into things. So it's kind of like, which way do I go? Where do I go? So there is a little insecurity, especially with the money energy here. But that Three of Earth seems to be very much, it seems to have a, a lot of this covered. Okay? But these are always your choices. Fears surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. So another thing with this could be that, you know, like I said, maybe you're, maybe you have some dreams and, you know, you want to leave your home and, you know, your established home and you want to go and, you know, go into the unknown. And the thing is, that's the thing. It's unknown. So, and it's, you know, where I'm at, you know, maybe I live with my parents. So I live with my parents. Things are very calm, very, you know, I don't have to worry about rent per se. But at the same time, if I do this, I will have to worry about rent. So those are the, those are just examples. So there's a conflict going on. But yet there's this creative idea. There's this creativity that wants to be born, that wants to blossom more and more. But then, you know, it's how do I make it happen? And where do I get the money? Okay, let's go on. John Holland, and I hope you may, I hope you understand what I'm saying because it just was coming out of me. Here we are. Fertility. So now we have another three again. So we have that three. This is a major arcana. This is the empress. This is a, what you dream can become real. What you dream has a possibility. The fertility, basically, you know, here she has her her arms, oh, you know, kind maybe, you know, maybe cradling. She has her heart chakra. It's something that she really, really believes in. You know, the empress to me is the divine feminine energy and wants to provide. There's also karmic energy with her too. But fertility is not just, it's not just, you know, oh, I'm going to get pregnant. It's your idea becomes pregnant. Your idea won't let you go in many ways. And it has to grow. It has to grow. And again, you have that three energy. So let's see what else we have here from Aquarius. Oh my, oh my goodness. I will need to know this too. This is, uh, who is this for? Okay, well, this one popped and it flipped. And this is the Hermit. This is a nine. Nine has you got all the information. You got what you need. You really do. You just have to put it together. But the Hermit advises you to step away a little bit. Step out of the drama. You know, you need to really con do some contemplation. You need to connect with your higher power. You need to really think this through. Because you think this through, the answers will come. The answers will come. And, you know, it's kind of like you don't know. This is very pretty. You don't know what's behind the door. You don't know. But you see there's keys. There's keys that will open the door. And sometimes stepping back provides the answers. Okay? Let's see. Here we go. My um, crystals are energies for my Aquariuses. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we're going to cut the deck. Reversed fluorite. Personal protection, getting organized, aura cloak, cooperation. If you have fluorite, you might want to carry. But you've got some, I mean, I know that this is some worries. This is some, let's figure this out. But you've got some really um, strong stuff happening, and dreams are possible. And we've got that full moon on, uh, you know, with Gemini. Okay, so my Aquarius is, <sighs> take a breath. Take a breath and breathe in your air and put it out there. I'll also, too, take a moment, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, my wonderful Aquariuses, my sweet sweets, Know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.